I'm Taylor. Good morning, Oliver. Still got air conditioning? What's that? Still have air conditioning or is the energy department uh, or energy company uh, raising your temps? Today we have it. We'll see about this afternoon and tomorrow. Right now we do. All right, cross the fingers. Yeah. If the AC was out, but you had fans, it might be all right. But if you can't have electricity, it's no good. Yeah, Howdy that's... all. Um, hey, good morning. <laughs> Are we talking about the weather? Yeah, weather and um, I guess it's Texas electrical stuff. Um, we, we had tornadoes here in Chicago last night, uh, at the suburbs. So yeah, some people are out of electricity too. Wow. The suburbs in Chicago are pretty well, you know, with high density of people. Yeah, it's, it's still in the Midwest. <laughs> so we're surrounded by planes, but the, the lake has a, a mediating effect. So yeah. the, the city doesn't get it uh, too bad, but um, weather is crazy all over. Oh, well. Here in Colorado, we have had Oh, 99 weather continuously, and today is right now it's 60 degrees. Well, that's why the best advice is never to leave your house and just uh, continue working all the time. That is not the best advice. The best advice. <laughs> Be, Maybe not. Be, be prepared for anything. So in Colorado, we carry multiple layers of clothing, even in the summer, because you could have snowfall on July 4th. Yeah, we have a, a saying in Chicago that if you don't like the weather, just wait. It's going to change a lot. Howdy folks, we'll get started in about two minutes at five after. Add any agenda items to the meeting notes and your name, please.
All right. Uh, the meeting notes have been posted in the Zoom chat. They're also in Slack and the calendar, if you have it, this is listed on the CNCF public calendars of events. And this uh, call is recorded. If you didn't get the Zoom message, I think everybody gets them now when you join these. So it is recorded, it will be posted to the CNCF YouTube channel. All right. Um, what do we have here? I guess one thing to note, uh, the July 5th meeting. Uh, so not next Monday, but the Monday after is going to be canceled. It's a public holiday in the US. And upcoming events, KubeCon NA, October, ONES, um, the CFP submissions closed yesterday, uh, the 20th. If there's some interesting ones, um, I guess if you've had acceptance, I don't know if it's if those have come through for KubeCon, then let people know. We could post them on here ahead of time so that uh, folks can be aware of this. And if there's some interesting stuff for ONES, then keep those in mind for when they get, if you get accepted, <clears throat> let everybody know in the group. So right now it looks like all we have is um, some items from the pull request. And I'm gonna refresh that page. I don't see anything new there. No new discussion items. Does anyone have anything they want to add agenda today? All right. Um, Simon, are you here? Yes, I hey, Simon. Yeah. Cool. Um, I. I think you had some changes on the stateful CNFPR that came Yeah, through. and I made those over the weekend. So um, I don't think there's any open issues left. I've made a, a type, uh, uh, a change. I think, uh, is it Pankaj um, put a comment? Yeah, which I updated, mm -hmm. uh, which was the introducing of the, basically the statement that he made about the glossary state being uh, i just took the text as as written um, and then changed the existing one to be types of state because that's basically what it was all right so um i don't think but there's any reason why sorry sorry simon but should the state still be defined well the whole point is about the use case is talking about state and managing state so if we don't introduce what state is um, then it makes it confusing if you don't agree. Confuse. So the question is, if you only make it types of state and not define state, so we should define state, right? Yeah, and I have. I, I put the so sorry, have. sorry, okay, sorry. It's, it's I didn't you, see. Okay. In, in, yeah, the, sorry, I should have brought it up a little different. So I, I actually just expanded this, Pankai. Um, it, this has been resolved. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So yeah. we'll go and take a look at the changes um would that be in the yeah it's at the top main read the top, top of, yeah top of the glossary you can see it okay there's a there's a statement that says there we go. Uh, state uh, and that's the date that's the text that you wrote and i then changed the existing one to be types of state which and i added in ephemeral state as a type of state um obviously Pankai, there's lots of that... other types of states but um yeah those are the ones i took for does that address what you were talking about, Pankai? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I don't think there's any other comments left over. Um, so I guess we either need more people to review it or we accept it as it is and then um, iterate like we've done on other things. 
I don't know if we got reset. I feel like you had some plus ones in the past. Um, I think there were. And I looked at your newest ones. I'm gonna give it an approve for myself. Thanks, Peter. Um, yeah, there was. Yeah, I did a couple of minor ad adjustments uh, previous to the last meeting. Um, just to clarify certain things. So yeah, that's all good. Okay, we just need a couple more, I think. Um, can you go over, is that the only change that you made over the weekend? Yeah, that was the only change. Um, all of the changes were pr prior to the previous meeting. Okay, let me see. Um, Let's see, resolve May 17th, seven days ago. And then, all right. Okay. Um, so this is, we're trying to get more use cases in here with the purpose of having context for um, taking these are looking at them and using them as reference for best practices. So there's stuff that we've started talking about for best practices on state, like probably from databases and stuff. The point is to get these in so that we can reference and discuss them. We can, it doesn't have to be perfect. So is there, can we get some, um, I guess, some plus ones and get this merged? Maybe right now during the call. Or if you have uh, any problems, then please raise it right now. I, I approved it, but I suggested a minor change. It's okay. Let's see. So it's a minor change, and it's for consistency also. What is that? Example of ephemeral state objects are, it's not ephemeral state, but ephemeral state objects are temporary files, etc. What do you, are, yeah, I agree. Uh, Actually, I'll, I mean, are you good quick. with that? I'll yeah, just click good. commit if you're good with that. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll just click yeah. commit. Yeah, perfect. And I approved it, by the way. So. Thank you. Thanks, Rani. Um, any others? I just had a refresh. Nikolai, Tal, Victor, Watson, get a plus one from you or a no. Plus one for me is what? Yeah, I, I would give it a plus one too. Thanks guys. Looks good, thank you. All right.
it seems like there is only one checker which is failing. Um, but it might be a URL it, checker, and it, I think it checked the whole repo. Um, I think. I, I, let me have a look. Yeah, but uh, or maybe the status is not considered as a healthy status, like because it's returning like four hundred twenty-nine HTTP code. So probably, I don't know. We have to modify the checker to to also consider that because the the, the URL is fine. I, I double check it and it's, it is there. <laughs> Did you, you're saying this, this wrestling RFCs, a yeah, dead if, link? If you click on that, uh, it is it is working, it's opening the, the repo. So maybe the status code that is, is getting, uh, that 429, yeah. I'll consider like, a, I don't know if we have to modify the config file or something to expand the number. Oh, these are interesting. Status 429. What is 429? Hmm. Good question. <sighs> Too many requests. Throttling. Overloading. That's interesting. So that's all. Those are all GitHub. That's complaining. These are GitHub links and look at that. So there's probably like this link to the definition, CNCF definition is probably linked from a lot of places. And we, we should probably links. use relative links because then they become uh, uh, tied to the uh, commit branch as well, rather these, than linking. Yeah. These are, tried that these are and... for external. These are not. Oh, OK, I see. Yeah, the, the only problems that we're having are external links. Thanks for merging, Taylor. No problem. All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, do we have anybody on the call to talk about this? I think Ashish came on like for a couple of calls, but um, I've been out for a bit and I don't see them on the call. So this is actually two different use cases. Um, and I think we have an open discussion for one of them. So that the synchronization timing and multi-communication interface, which I don't think we have a discussion for. Um, and there's, hasn't been any, Tal, you put something from ACM on here, but We want to either get stuff merged or close them out. Um, let's see, what is the latest? Way back. Victor, this looks like a the, at least this part of it is a just removing spaces so you're formatting. Yeah, yeah. But... I, I'm going to commit that one, just formatting. There's a lot about a single line. Okay, so Ian was essentially saying 
we need to have some definitions and limits around all this because it's vague to just say the timing needs to be synchronized, but to what level? Um, nothing is actually real time. There's some type of difference between reality and what you're okay with. But this is a suggestion, I guess. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind, just pointing this out. And I'm not looking at the rest of the context for the use case. But in a use case, we're not trying to communicate a best practice, but this is kind of suggesting what people should do. It should maintain. It should do this certain thing. And the, our best practices are where we're trying to suggest what people should do. And the use cases are trying to define what needs are and um, for the applications and the end user uh, services. So that may need to be adjusted. I don't know if, if anyone wants to take this over because I haven't heard um, from Ashish in a while. Has anyone else heard from Ashish? No. Okay, so if if we don't have someone like take over and say this this is a good use set of it's really a set of use cases. So if if someone doesn't want to take us over and try to move it forward, then at some point we'll need to close it out because it's not uh, it's just going to hang around. So if you're interested in these, take a look and. And we can reach out to Ashish, but if they don't respond, then we'll need to go through and, and look if we want to take this over. I think on the timing was the one that had the most interest. And that's why we ended up with a, a discussion. And I, I, if we go back and look at the notes, there were some comments there. I, All right. I can, I can check with them and see if they're willing to go through some of the comments on that. Thanks, Bill. And I don't know how I skipped over the onboarding, but we don't have Vuk on the call. So I guess we can skip this one today. Okay, so this glossary. This one's been open for a while too. Um, Tal, have you gone through and looked at some of the stuff for being able to commit, merge in the changes, su suggested changes and requests? Um, well, I, I look mostly at, at my contributions. Um, we're, we're talking about mine specifically. Um, well, yeah, yeah this, uh, this PR, there's a bunch of, oh, yeah. I guess part of the thing is because it's such a, a, a large set of changes, then they've had a lot of uh, requests for changes to that. <laughs> Or I won't yeah. say changes. You you mainly had additions, but then because of there's a whole lot of different ones, you were covering a lot, and there's been a lot of comments across that. But if right. you can go through and, and look and we can get to a um, some type of agreement, then we can get those merged. So I I really thought we it it's the comments are a discussion, right? I, I don't feel like I, we reached uh, uh, a final decision on 
anything really. I think it's worth discuss it, discussing here. This is why we're doing this. Um, <clears throat> I, yeah, I, I, I don't know we re if we reached a complete alignment. There were a few good ideas, but um, I don't think we as a group as a whole agree on some of the <clears throat> core terms. Um, the big one w is still what we mean by CNF. <clears throat> there's still, excuse me, <clears throat> there's still some of us, I think, who would like CNF to mean containerized network function and look for a different term for a cloud native network function. I suggested CN dash NF, <laughs> CN NF. Uh, with the dash uh, being an emphasis that this is, well, we're, we're talking about um, um, an operational uh, perspective on a network function rather than a technological perspective, which is things like VNF and CNF, which refer to uh, how the network function is deployed. Uh, with the point being that a containerized network function is not necessarily a cloud native function and a cloud native function could be a virtualized network function. Um, and I, I don't know if, if <laughs> that, that's the suggestion I'm throwing out and I know it's a big one and um, it, it really changes uh, even the name of, of this group, uh, work group and what it means. Um, yeah, so essentially um, I, this, this is probably a topic that I personally want to end sooner rather than later because it feels like it's taking away back to what you've said again in the past, Hal, the focus on adding more use cases and best practice versus um, going around and around on this. So the CNF working group is this group and the CNF, CNCF telecom activities are only about cloud native. They're not about other things. Um, so if we did decide, and part of this is not this group. So part, part of like the decision on what CNF is, is already outside of this working group and would be like a CNCF. And I don't know how much, Bill, you have view into that. You might need to pull like Chris and Osniak and some other people. But the group, the working group, is cloud native network functions. We're focused Correct. on that. Correct. Um, I understand what you're saying, Cal, with regards to the confusion on containerized and other stuff. I don't think within CNCF um, and the Kubernetes community, there is confusion. Um, that's it is about cloud native. So it would be presenting itself outside. But from the group standpoint, whatever the acronym is, we're talking about cloud native networking applications. That's what Correct. we're saying. I, I don't think there's any confusion about that. I, I think, and if, if we would make a suggestion to the CNCF, we, we are trying to align with the industry, right? And provide best practices for the industry. And the glossary is an important contribution too, right? These are terms that we can all agree with. The fact is right now that the industry as a whole are, is not using CNF in the way that we are. <laughs> uh, if, if we mean CNF to mean cloud native network function, and we've been using it that way so far, I think it creates confusion in the industry at large. So, I mean, we can do whatever we want, that's true. But um, I think I want us to be helpful and not add to the confusion. So like it or not, CNF in many parts of the industry and in many documents and many presentations that are given refers to cloud native network, sorry, refers to containerized network function, uh, sometimes specifically on Kubernetes, but not always. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an unfortunate uh, aspect to the, this confusion. So. I, right. I'm trying to well, make a suggestion Cal, to avoid um, the confusion. One of the, the, for the, one, of the one, one second, Frederick. Oh, for, uh, t tell um, one 
thing that's been suggested, and I'm going to bring it up now, is break this PR update into smaller chunks so that we can get some of them that are agreed to merged. So just on your glossary update, the PR in general. And then around cloud native, I think um, that needs to be put for probably not in a PR, but a discussion. So create a discussion. I, I think there might actually, yeah, there is one that Jeffrey put in here. So um, you could put it in here or put it in a new discussion. And what I would recommend is creating like a, a spreadsheet or a, a link, sh show a big list of here's all of the, um, there's when we do Google searches or whatever, you have 80% of the people say uh, containerized. And here's 20% that are using that. So do this as like a, a discussion for itself and we can deal with that separately. But well, it shouldn't sure. block all the other glossary items where we're talking about functional stuff of for a use case. The main point okay. on this right. is how do we get to best practices for running cloud native network applications? So, so, so Taylor, we... I, I think I think you're you're jump I, I think there's a confusion here. Uh, the, the issues were, were discussion, right? I don't know if I would treat them as comments necessarily. Ian raised a few points and we, we discussed things. Um, my original PR is not related to that issue. I mean, I am treating cloud native, I am treating CNF as cloud native network function. So the, the discussion might be separate, but I think the PR as itself, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if, if any of the comments would affect it. So I, I think the PR could be merged <laughs> uh, as is, and that discussion, I agree, is separate, and we're having it in separate places, and there could be a future PR to fix, to fix that. But right now, it, it absolutely adheres to our original definitions. That is, CNF means cloud, net, cloud native network function. I, I did not change that. OK, let's, uh, well, Fr Frederick, I don't know if, if if you had a comment or we just move forward to try to close this out without talking more about CNF, but go ahead, Frederick. It, it was just a little bit of context uh, just from the history of, of CNF. So the actual term uh, was actually created through collaboration with the CNCF itself. So uh, there's an individual who doesn't want to be named who came up with the term CNF uh, it was uh, said Dr. Dan and, and Arpit who then ran with it and popularized, po popularized the, the term CNF. Uh, it's very unfortunate that the term containerized network function is the way that most people interpreted the acronym, uh, despite the, the efforts that uh, went on to, to define what, what a CNF is. So uh, it's, it's definitely very... Uh, very acute uh, is, issue that uh, w would be good to get some form of resolution on, but uh, I, I don't see I, I don't see an easy path towards uh, towards any of that. Uh, I do agree though that the, the community at large within the CNCF does uh, does agree that it's cloud native network function, and we've done a good job in, in that environment. Uh, at at the community at large uh, is definitely. Uh, taking their own interpretations, and I think they're going to do this even if even if the term containerized network function did not exist. Uh, a lot of people think that cloud native is explicitly equal to containerization. So I think even if we change the terms around, we'll still run into this issue of people saying, "Well, we're running a, a cloud native thing," despite the fact it's just a containerized workload. Uh, one last thing as well. Uh, Aligning the CNCF to the industry is definitely a, an important thing, but simultaneously, the opposite is true as, as well. The aligning the industry to cloud native, I would argue, is, is equally as important in the sense that we are trying to have an effect on, on the industry. So we should not forget the goal of it is not to say we're aligning, but also to have a positive in, uh, influence on, on the rest of the community. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just want to toss that out, uh, not, not, to, not to try to cause any uh, significant discussion, but just to put some, some thoughts into people's minds on. 
on how we got here. Yeah, that that that's absolutely. I, I agree with all that. I but and I agree with Taylor that it's a separate discussion. So, I, I wonder if if we can go over this PR and if we can do it now well, and if there's no objections. Yeah, let's we see where we can get with it, Tal, and and then sure. um, there's so there's there are suggestions to um, update in here that. I guess any, this is for everybody. If you, if you put a PR in here, everyone can help, of course, but it is coming from your uh, branch or, you know, probably your own repo. So please go through and look at um, things and try to either merge or respond. Uh, so one of them would be not, not just the discussion items tell, which may need to be um, actually you could go, this is a good discussion. Why don't we pull this out of a PR so it's not lost? And I've done that myself. But some of these would be like this, uh, it looks like a, maybe a style thing, uh, Bill, right. that you're noting. And this would be something, Tal, that um, we could go through and go, okay, I see that you're just making a suggestion that I can accept. I'm not sure if you have to pull it back into your branch or whatever, but um, these would be items that you could resolve and that would help clear out the queues so that we can get it merged faster. Okay, well, well, this is an example that I did not resolve because I do not agree with the stylistic uh, suggestion. Uh, oh, all right. So, so that, I guess some background on this one. Um, that Well, that's fine. So respond to it, Tal, uh, at least so that we know that you've looked at it. And this would be everybody, not I'm just saying Tal, but please respond to the comments so that everyone knows if if this is an issue that we're going to resolve or, or move forward on or just ignore uh, say no we don't want this um, and we can focus on other items so this particular one I think Bill you're you put this in because it's based on the CNCF uh, style guide for what how to say cloud native I'm I'm supposing but this is your yeah, comment that, bill so yeah that's correct i just dropped a link to it in the chat if anybody's wondering um, where that came oh, from thanks yeah i'll bring that up there we go and all right bill, if, if if that's how it is <laughs> it seems like wrong english to me but i'll accept it uh, yeah this is like the debate this is what was chosen at like the beginning I mean, this is quite an old document. So um, that's just, I guess, how CNCF chose to do it before I showed up, so. All right, no problem. If, yeah, if, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. <laughs> they definitely had some um, British English speakers on it. So I'm sure it got debated across the board for people, but Okay, um, so the, is this something you can commit? I don't know, or I can just do a plus one from you, Tal, now? Um, I'll commit it. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, Bill, there, there are other places that I use Cloud Native with a hyphen, so I'll change those as well. You'll okay, commit them? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Not to... Sure, if, Taylor, if, you, if you're ready to commit it and fix it right now, sure, thanks. Yeah, the, the heuristic that I that I tend to use, uh, which may not align with the CNCF, is if it's a noun, I do not put the hyphen. If it's a adjective, I do, uh, which which is the, the common English approach. But uh, they they are using cloud native as a as a brand, so it's possible that they they don't include the hyphen explicitly for for that reason. But yeah, I, these are conversations way above my head in terms of how how they want to represent their brand. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll, I'll just be consistent because, uh, Bill, you noticed you made a change that um, you forgot one hyphen to remove. That's basically it. Um, okay, thanks. By the way, other people have pointed this out, but network functions are not called applications. Uh, well, I, yes, but, but um, we are saying that a network function is a cloud native application, right? Cloud native design principles, I think, refer to applications. So, yes, in our world, we don't call them applications, but um, 
if you want to talk about design principles, then it is an application, in my opinion. Where does it, is that something, is this this area about the application? No, 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 it was inside your cloud native. Uh, if you go back yeah. to the cloud native within the parentheses, it said cloud native application, so. Oh, um, and the there area are other, that I just other places, other people have pointed it also. Yeah, the, the one right below it, I think had an example of it. Yeah, but could we change application into cloud native software? Um, sure, I guess. Um, uh, software. Yeah, I mean, if, I, if that makes you more comfortable, I, I, it makes me a bit less comfortable. Software is very, very. Uh, I know it's very uh, generic, but. Uh, I, what? So, what is the um, reasoning for not using application? It could be workload, the, right? Workload is a good word. Yeah, workload is. Okay. I think it comes down to, to a specific question, though. Is a PNF, a physical network function, ever going to be a CNF? And if the answer is no, there's a high likeliness that every CNF is an application. Yeah, I, I would prefer to go with the common. And then if we have a real world um, example, where it, it's off and we need to change it or add an exception, then we do that versus theoretical. So I'm, I, I've been using applications because we're talking about, um, well, primarily we've been talking about on Kubernetes platforms and it aligns with that, but even on um, non-Kubernetes, if, if we're just saying networking software that's running and from an end user perspective, so that could be like a service provider running this, they're thinking of the, the application running. Yeah, and, and I think workload in, I know in the Kubernetes documentation, they specifically scope it down. Uh, in general, a workload can be either physical or, or virtual, but uh, an app, but application itself is, is clearly, or I guess, to, in my in my mind is clearly software although others may have a different uh, definition for it but yeah i think it, it really comes down to we want to how do we want to scope it do we want to talk about uh do we want to talk about hardware as part of the cnf or do we want to say the application itself is a cnf um, while at the same time even if we take the software approach we still acknowledge that there may be hardware integrations that, that we may want to do so i think it's primarily about how do we want to how do we want to scope it our, ourselves to how do we approach this uh, i i personally am I'm comfortable with uh, with application and scoping it to to software but uh this but it depends on, on where we as a community want to scope it so applications are typically typically have end users that utilize the network functions on the other hand uh, are components that go into and they may be from part of or, or provide traffic through which applications interface. So I think that is where the distinction really comes about. I hear that um, a lot. And then whenever it comes back to stuff like the a VCP use case, um, you have a lot of components in there that people first refer to as network functions, but they could very well be, oh, these are applications. So um, what is the VDHCP? Well, it's that's a, most of the world would say a DHCP server is an application you happen to be using it as a, you may say it's like underlying um, or making this larger network that everything else then runs on. So it's what are your, your end users? And because we run this D 
DHCP application as part of our infrastructure networking, that then stuff like, oh, your, um, your yeah, Netflix VB. caching yeah. server and stuff, but even say this VBNG, so we're broadband network gateway. What's special about this? It's, it's pushing packets between this side and this side, but you have this, you have the same functionality from um, layer four, layer seven type of packet routing things, but we're calling this something different because it's, it may be underlying. You may have an application on top that does layer seven routing that goes on top, so to speak, to the BNG. Yeah, so, you know, layer four to layer seven network stuff is usually network services. So, you know, this would may mainly be layer two, layer three would be network functions. Anyway, we don't have to debate this. If everybody is okay with the application, let's just leave it as fine. It was only a suggestion in there. I think it's a, it's a good suggestion. Um, and, and I think part of it comes down to, again, how, how we want to scope it down and how we want to interpret it. Uh, this is probably something that should absolutely go into the glossary, though, to specifically say that if we use the term application, we, we should make sure that we state that it's, that it's not just end user, but we're, we're talking about it as, as software, just so that we can be clear about it. Because it, there, there is some, there is some uh, differences between how a significant portion of the industry uses the term application versus mm -hmm. when you're when you're an enterprise uh, versus you, it's it's very common for for people to mix the both of them and say oh I have an application that which I mean I have a daemon running or they have a server running or some software running uh, but then when you're in the telecom space uh, the definition may be much more precise I have an application which means I have something explicitly which is interacting with or doing something on behalf of the user that the mm -hmm. user is uh, is affected by in a way that they see. So uh, there, there could be some confusion there that we do need to be careful with. By the way, I, for network function, I suggested we use a very standard XC terminology definition. All right, um, let's try to move the PR forward. So Tal, um, it looks like this one is not changing anything. I don't know if, if the suggestion um, was to not even have this line that says TBD, just remove um, it or, or so, I mean, it's okay to be TBD. It could be, that could be a separate PR. You know, I didn't remove things that were already there. Um, I tend to agree. I think there's a new PR um, from Alok that uh, that adds a whole bunch of other things, including uh, filling that out, so we can maybe deal with that separately. Um, or, I'm not saying that, hmm. but okay. Maybe he didn't do it as a, as a PR. Maybe it got merged. Did it already get merged? That's a good question. Um, I'm not saying it, so. I'm not saying uh, it either. Or a discussion, anyways. Okay, so can I just resolve this? Is there anything to do? Right now we're leaving it alone. We're not adding a definition for cube native. Right, that wasn't part of what I was uh, trying to do. Um, okay, so resolve it, I'm gonna resolve it. Okay. By the way, I just pushed a, a fixes for the cloud native hyphen, so there are no more hyphens. <laughs> Great, thank you. Okay, I'm working my way up. So Kubernetes network function, a cloudified network function deployed in, on Kubernetes. Note that the KNF is not necessarily a containerized network function so there are ways to employ virtualization and containers and Kubernetes need to run full virtual machines. All right, that's a lot of extra. You're not wrong. Is it useful to us? 
Um, I, I think it's useful. It's, uh, uh, All right. at, as I pointed out, the last time we discussed this, I said that my, my opinion here is that it's good to have more terms because we do fall in the weeds of, you know, the classifying exactly specific aspects of this. So this term could help us sometimes when we, you know, we, we can talk about C containerized network functions generally, but then Kubernetes network function specifically. So we can clarify what we mean in this case. And, and I have seen this term thrown, or for example, it relates a little bit to the cube native term that we left uh, TBD. Um, yeah, it, it could just okay. help us in discussions, I think. So uh, um, the, we're being specific on that the networking application it, that someone is talking about. So if you're giving an example and a best practice or use case, that it's explicitly running on Kubernetes without saying it's in a container, but you're saying this network application is running on Kubernetes. Correct. Without, and, and without, running, it, without uh, literally saying it that way. So then the only question I, I think, I, that sounds fine to me if we want a term versus if you wanted to say any use case. This is a CNF running on Kubernetes. That would be the, this is shorthand exactly. for that. Exactly. So um, then I agree with, out, the only thing that out of this that I, I don't care for is cloudified. That seems to be like a, I don't know if we have a definition for that, but I just call that a buzzword, cloudified. Sure, yeah, I wonder if it could be, you know, I think I meant to say actually a cloud native network function and I wrote cloudified by mistake. Um, All right. How does cloud native look to you here, to everybody? How about like, is that good? Like that, cloud native network function? Could it run on yes. another container platform other than Kubernetes? What? Oh, this I is a Kubernetes. Sorry, sorry. This is a Kubernetes network function. I'm sorry. Sorry. Actually, we can just write CNF because CNF means a cloud native network function. Like this? Yeah. Oh, did you do it? Um, I did not, but I pushed something else. So, you know what? Let me just do it on my end. All right. All right, pushed. I uh, should have done the single line comment. Okay, let's see what that looks like. I wonder if you need to refresh the page maybe to see my own. Um... Uh, it'll probably show as soon as I, this shows outdated. Right. But I wonder and if I'm you just not, press I'm F5, right it, might, it might show it correctly. Oh, I've, I've already um, oh. refreshed, but okay, I'm in sorry. the wrong view. If I do the file view, so it's basically saying the comment and the other view is off. But Correct. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. there we go. And then it's already shown resolved. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And then this one is exp this is kind of a similar one, where we're trying to at least um, call out that we recognize that if something is only in a container that we could say that 
because like I said in this one, you could have a cloud native VM running on Kubernetes and you could have a containerized network function that doesn't follow um, any cloud native standards, I guess. Um, right. So, um, you know, I did oh, mm -hmm. a cloudified network function here, so I don't know. I do um, see that now. Yeah. Yeah, this one's interesting. Uh, okay, Kubernetes on function. Well, be, because here's the thing, you know, a, a KNF, <laughs> maybe I, I'm still sticking to my original definition because a KNF, you know, you can have something running on Kubernetes, but if you haven't used cloud native design principles, we shouldn't call it a CNF. We shouldn't call it a same. Uh, Carl, right. the issue, sorry, the issue with cloudified network function, the last sentence there um, to be classified. Now, cloudified network function is must not have, it's not necessarily adhering to cloud native principles. Yeah, it's the sentence before that that captures yeah. what Tal is saying. So you can, yeah. it's not necessarily a CNF, if yeah, it doesn't last, follow those yeah. principles. But the last sentence contradicts that again. It's saying to be classified as a CNF, it's just the the way the phrasing is makes then it a little should, bit. Then we should change such to CNF. Okay, if it's, if it's or, not or, clear. Or, or, or change the period to a semicolon or something, you know. Because I, that's I'll, I'll fix it to be classified as a CNF. <laughs> sure. It that's right. must appear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much, much better. All right. I, did, um, to, I think Frederick made this point uh, earlier, or maybe it was in a comment, but does this help us? Um, wh why are we putting a term in? Like the term should help with something that we're discussing versus theoretical discussion. So is this something that we're already referring to? Cladified? So I, I, think, I think this may relate that the term itself is new to me, but uh, but I think the intention may have come from conversations that uh, that uh, uh, Ian was also involved with. Uh, some of the conversations we had was what what does it really mean for something to be uh, to be cloud native and for it to be like how are we using the term and and how are we describing things? And one of the areas that we uh, found that there was some contention around was, if I if I was in a if I was in a cloud and I created an API within within a cloud that allows you to let's say create a firewall on demand or create a VPN on demand, is that thing considered to be cloud native because it only runs in the cloud? <laughs> and so I, I think it the term very likely came out as a, as a result of of those discussions. Though I'm not sure where the actual queen itself was uh, was termed, but that that's my guess is that. Is, is it has to do with how do we mean cloud native, which is very specific uh, versus this is something that can run in the cloud or even is provided as is infrastructure that, that's part of a cloud uh, or designed to, to run in a cloud, which uh, may not be a cloud, cloud native in the way that we describe it as being something you can horizontally scale, et cetera, et cetera. So just- yeah. that, That's exactly it. Yeah, I, th the problem is that in some conversations with people who are not, on board with, don't know everything that the CNCF is about and think that it's, you know, it just means running things on Kubernetes. We need to distinguish these things and say, okay, you brought your CNF, you brought your network function to Kubernetes, but that's not enough. If you want to be classified as a CNF, that means following our best practices and the design principles for cloud native. So um, all of these terms are to help us make these distinctions, right? Okay, so if we are if we are if we are creating a term cloudified network function, which covers both VNFs, CNFs, etc., then I think the VNF definition needs to be changed. Um, 
Well, we can scroll to the VNF definition, definition too. Yeah, we had some discussion about that as well. The reason um, is the VNF definition right now overlaps mostly with what the, the cloud-defined network function is. So well, you, can make, you can make VNF purely a virtual machine-based network function in this sense. Well, the, the way I defined it, um, it talks about the technology and it actually doesn't mention the word cloud at all. You can have but virtual it, machines it, that are not cloud. Mentions, it mentions containers though, so. Um, I, well, I'm mentioning that virtualization technologies, so virtualization does not have to be specifically with a virtual machine. True, virtualization, true, true. right. Agreed, agreed. Uh, but since yeah. we are defining so many terms, maybe VNFs could be restricted for network functions deployed on VMs only. That's a suggestion. Given that now you have a cloudified network function which can cover basically both scenarios. And I think we'll run into the same issue as, uh, as CNF though, in that the VMF is, is, when they talk about a container, they actually use the, the, the term uh, virtualized to cover any any form of of isolation system that's there, which includes a container. And um, I've, I, I've had I've had significant discussions with people through set through CNTP back when it was still uh, before it was part of Anakin and similar about this exact uh, phrasing, this exact term. And so uh, I think this is one that we need to be really really careful with. Is you know, in, in terms of redefining VNF, because like redefining CNF, like we came up with the term, but the term VNF originates from Etsy and has a very specific meaning within Etsy that that will end up fighting. Uh, so we want to be careful that we don't conflict with that definition. Um, we we could say if we want to to restrict our usage, I think it would be okay to say that well, when we describe VNFs, we're explicitly talking about uh, virtual. VM-based systems, uh, but also make it clear that we're, that we're, that we're not aiming to, to uh, derail the, the Etsy term. I, I, think we, I think we should be very careful on, on how we approach that. Right, I, I try to hey, be as careful we're as We're at the be. top of the hour. Yeah. Um, and Tal, if you can go back through and try to respond to as many of these as possible. Um, and then I think the one that I can see that may not be in here is what is the definition of Cloudify? And that, that would expand on this. So Cloudified Network Function, but that's the only one I'm saying. But if you can just go through and then we'll... I think I did. I think, I think maybe next week we could uh, continue this. I think we're not done quite with the discussion. There, there's some of them that I'm seeing when I just scrolled through that look like they could be resolved. Like I don't see a debate on them. So if you can go through and either say those are good and then click resolve. And that way we only have a subset next week. All right. Thanks everyone. Thanks so. See you Thank next you. week. Cheers.